and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Hothi ballistic missile strikes US owned and operated cargo ship, US Central Command says. A Hothi anti-ship ballistic missile struck a US owned and operated cargo ship on Monday, US Central Command said in a statement. The MV Gibraltar Eagle, a Marshall Islands flagged bulk carrier owned and operated by US-based Eagle Bulk, sustained minor damage and did not report any injuries on board, Central Command said. The ship is continuing on its way. A statement from Eagle Bulk Shipping on Monday confirmed that the Gibraltar Eagle, which is carrying a cargo of steel products, was hit by an unidentified projectile, roughly 100 miles offshore in the Gulf of Aden. As a result of the impact the vessel suffered limited damage to a cargo hold but is stable and is heading out of the area, the statement said. All seafarers on board the vessel are confirmed to be uninjured. The UK Maritime Security Agency, UKMTO, said it received a report about the incident. Eagle Bulk Shipping said it was in close contact with all relevant authorities. Vessels are advised to transit with caution and report any suspicious activity to UKMTO, it said. Earlier in the day, the Houthis attempted to launch an anti-ship ballistic missile that failed in flight and crashed in Yemen, Central Command said. On Thursday, the US and UK struck 28 separate Houthi sites in an attempt to disrupt the group's ability to fire upon international shipping lanes in the Red Sea. The two countries were also backed by Canada, Australia, Bahrain and the Netherlands. The US carried out additional strikes on Friday night which were much smaller in scope and targeted a radar facility used by the Houthis, a US official said. Starting on Friday, the United States has led strikes in response to more than two dozen Houthi attacks on freight ships in the Red Sea in recent weeks that have disrupted the commercial shipping industry. American and British officials say the strikes, intended to degrade the Houthis' ability to keep attacking shipping, were aimed at radar stations, missile launch sites and other military targets. On Sunday, the United States said that it had shot down a missile fired by Houthi fighters at one of its Navy ships in the Red Sea, in one of the first skirmishes between the two sides since the United States attacked the militia inside Yemen. The Houthis launched an anti-ship cruise missile at the USS Laboon, a destroyer, on Sunday at about 4.45 p.m. Yemen time, the U.S. military said on social media. The missile was shot down by an American fighter jet near the coast of the city of Hodeida, and no injuries or damage were reported, the U.S. military said. The military actions of the Houthis, a Yemeni militia that has said it is acting in solidarity with the Palestinian people, have stirred fears of the Israel-Hamas conflict spreading further into the Middle East. But even as the United States and its allies attacked Houthi sites in Yemen, for now it appears both Washington and Tehran are taking care not to put their forces in direct combat. Last week, after clearly telegraphing its intentions, the United States destroyed about 30 Houthi sites. But US officials acknowledge that the Houthis still have about three quarters of their ability to fire missiles and drones at ships making voyages through the Red Sea. Since mid-November, the Houthis, a Yemeni rebel group backed by Iran, have launched dozens of attacks on ships sailing through the Red Sea and the Suez Canal, a crucial shipping route through which 12% of world trade passes. The United States and a handful of allies, including Britain, struck back, carrying out missile strikes on Houthi targets inside Yemen early Friday local time and thrusting the rebels and their long-running armed struggle further into the limelight. The attack on Houthi bases came a day after the United Nations Security Council voted to condemn, in the strongest terms, at least two dozen attacks carried out by the Houthis on merchant and commercial vessels, which it said had impeded global commerce and undermined navigational freedom. Here's a primer on the Houthis, their relationship with Hamas and the attacks in the Red Sea. Who are the Houthis? The Houthis, led by Abdul Malik al-Houthi, are an Iran-backed group of Shiite rebels who have been fighting Yemen's government for about two decades and now control the country's northwest and its capital, Sana. They have built their ideology around opposition to Israel and the United States, seeing themselves as part of the Iranian-led axis of resistance, along with Hamas in the Gaza Strip and Hezbollah in Lebanon.
In 2014, a military coalition led by Saudi Arabia intervened to try to restore the country's original government after the Houthis seized the capital. Last April, talks between the Houthis and Saudi Arabia raised hopes for a peace deal that would potentially recognize the Houthis' right to govern northern Yemen. Once a group of poorly organized rebels, the Houthis have bolstered their arsenal in recent years, and it now includes cruise and ballistic missiles and long-range drones. Analysts credit this expansion to support from Iran, which has supplied militias across the Middle East to expand its own influence. Why are they attacking ships in the Red Sea? When the Israel-Hamas war started on October 7, the Houthis declared their support for Hamas and said they would target any ship traveling to Israel or leaving it. Yahya Saria, a Houthi spokesman, has said frequently that the group is attacking ships to protest the destruction and siege in Gaza and to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people. Since November, the Houthis have launched 27 attacks with drones and missiles on vessels in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden that they claim are heading toward or leaving Israeli ports. The latest was on Thursday at 2 a.m., when a missile landed near a commercial vessel, the U.S. military said. Perhaps the most audacious Houthi operation came on November 19, when gunmen hijacked a vessel named the Galaxy Leader and took it to a Yemeni port, holding its 25 crew members, mainly Filipinos, captive. How are the attacks affecting countries around the world? Speaking to reporters in Bahrain on Wednesday, the American Secretary of State, Anthony J. Blinken, warned that continued Hothiaks in the Red Sea could disrupt supply chains and in turn increase costs for everyday goods. The Houthis have affected ships tied to more than 40 countries, he said. Rerouting vessels around Africa adds an extra 4,000 miles and 10 days to shipping routes, and requires more fuel. But continuing to use the Red Sea would raise insurance premiums. Either option would bruise an already fragile global economy. What has the US been doing to stop the Houthis? The Biden administration repeatedly condemned Hothiaks in the Red Sea and assembled a naval task force to try to keep them in check. The task force, called Operation Prosperity Guardian, brought together the United States, Britain and other allies and has been patrolling the Red Sea to, in Mr. Blinken's words, preserve freedom of navigation and freedom of shipping. Anthony J. Blinken, the US Secretary of State, on a plane headed toward Bahrain on Wednesday, credit, Evelyn Hochstein, Reuters Bahrain is the only Middle Eastern country that agreed to participate. Even though many countries in the region depend on trade that goes through the Red Sea, many do not want to be associated with the United States, Israel's closest ally, analysts say. US and British warships have intercepted some Hothi missiles and drones before they reach their targets. On Wednesday, American fighter jets from the aircraft carrier USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, along with four other warships, intercepted 18 drones, two anti-ship cruise missiles and one anti-ship ballistic missile, Central Command said in a statement. On December 31, US Navy helicopters sank three Hothi boats that were attacking a commercial freighter. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.